Hello and thank you for all the new subscriber. Here is the actual finished version of the truck, box truck. I shouldn't say finished version, but the 99% finished version. If you can see here, I also upgraded the gas tank. I added an extra gas tank or extra fuel tank. And I'll show you why when I do the actual tour of the truck. But there is an extra fuel tank here. And this came up with a Jeep Wrangler. If just in case somebody wanted to know where it came out of. But you know the Jeep guy probably recognized this right away. So and here is the actual fuel tank itself with the actual truck. Uh, coming on the side, uh, coming from the back, you guys remember the little pee hole where you fill the water and pees up the water? There it is. But not only that, I, asked, I added a ladder here too. So the ladder acts as two things. Number one is to clean the solar panel up there, and it also acts as a place for us to hang out during the evening time. It is supported up there for extra uh, weight capability. It can handle probably four people, so maybe 400 pounds. Okay, I also upgraded this right here. It used to be a little small metal sheet here, so now it has an aluminum sheet that could handle and support more weight. Uh, this is meant to be holding my motorcycle up here and a dirt bike and also a mountain bike up here also. So the mountain bike and the dirt bike is removed out for this video. So, and also remember the actual first video where it lays out as a table or I'm sorry, as a couch or a, yeah, as a couch or bench seat, how you want to put it. Well, here it is in its bed mode. So in the bed mode, you get, I love it. It sleeps really comfortably. So I wouldn't say a king size, but I'm saying it's a good size, probably a queen. So, but we love it. I mean, we really, really love it. Coming out from a Tacoma, this is like the Taj Mahal, a bed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, and also we have a flower there. Um, there's an added touch. And we're gonna show you inside, okay? So we'll come over to the side. The other side, I'm gonna show you a little where, why I need the extra fuel tank, come on. So, here is basically the exhaust. What I have here is a Honda EU generator, a little small one, but I really, truly, absolutely love this generator. So I in integrated it into the frame and it was not easy to do. So I've done it. But not only that, we wouldn't call it data. It was, I have a generator sitting in the back of the actual tailgate, right? So I made it really stealthy. It's inside there. So this is the exhaust right here. And you're probably wondering, what is this ugly little hole here? I was gonna cover it up. But I said, you know what, it looks pretty cool with me, so I left it open. I was like, you know what, we're sticking a hole on here, we're keeping it like that. So here it is. So in order to start the generator, we don't have no remote, no nothing. I was thinking about inventing all that or designing all that stuff. I'm like, man, I don't have time. So I was like, screw this. I just made a little pole hole. So basically, it's really, really simple. You just basically turn it off, you know, but make sure you, there's a fuel cutoff on the other side, but it's already on for this video. I already turned the cutoff fuel. So I would turn this right here and literally one pull. That's why I like about Honda. Look at it. See what I mean? It is freaking awesome. One pull, always, every time. So right now, the house is powered up by the generator. It's switching over from solar to generator now. Okay? So we're gonna go inside and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, run in. So here is the control central, as you can say it. This one's to control the pan camera where you can pan left, right, up, down. And this is wireless. And this right here is your regular camera. Don't ask me why I need two camera, but there is two camera, okay? So over here, you remember? This right here, here's your solar right now, it's 13.2. Excuse me, so that's plenty enough for, 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 for uh, what I need. And this basically stays charged almost every single time. I believe three days is the max that you could actually, how do, you, how do I word this? Three days is, it'll, it'll last before this battery gets depleted. So if you're not charging it into a landline or a generator, in three days, this battery will deplete it. So keep that in mind if you do decide to run an AGM 100 amp hours. And there's two of them. And it's nice and clean now, like last time it was all over the place. It's clean. I mean, this is the cleanest I could get it, but I'm sure I could do better. So everything's all tucked in, the seats pull everything in. So right now, typically, you want this thing off before you start the generator. For this video, I kind of messed up. I'm allowed to mess up once in a while. So, so typically, you want to shower, power everything down once you 
before you start the generator. Since the generator run now, you could pop this thing on. It's just a safety precaution thing. So you would pop everything on like that. So right now, basically, the generator is charging the batteries and it's switching everything off to solar mode. And the switch is in here. So it's switching, every, I'm sorry, it's switching everything to generator mode. But if you were to plug into landline, it'll switch over to landline. So basically it goes from landline to generator to solar. So basically that's, that's, that's it. Um, that's how I have it set up. The box is in here. It's all screwed in. So I, I mean, it's just a quick tour. If I were to rip everything out and show you piece by piece, it'd be forever. So, but I did have it in the first video where it's all ripped apart. And we're gonna come back here now. Think about that, that hole I've been through, it's like going through the Tacoma every single day. And it, when you get old, it's really difficult. So, and that's what made me came into this box truck anyway. Getting out of the Tacoma was very hard for us. It seems like it's a hard, it gets harder as I get older. I know, we all, us Asians look pretty young. But anyway, I'm just kidding. So, uh, back to, uh, we, what, we, what I've finished. So you remember this where it's all torn apart like five different color. So now it's a finished version. And since I power up the switch, I could now run the AC and I could run the cooker. I could run the microwave. I could run everything in this house now without a single problem. Okay, so to run the AC, it's remote operated. And it also has a temperature control sensor in these actual remote. I didn't design that. It came like that from the manufacturer. Very good brand. So basically, I would put, turn him on, the AC is on. Now, here's the cool part about this particular unit. Wherever you place this unit, it will detect the temperature. So it will control the temperature within the actual remote. I love that feature, awesome. Way to go, whatever that company is, media. The refrigerator, love this refrigerator. I couldn't afford a Dometic. I had one Dometic in the Tacoma, I can't afford another one. So I just might as well buy myself a cheap, a decent, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say cheap, affordable brand from Best Buy. And I freaking love this thing. So here we have a month worth of food. Yes, these are blueberry meat and everything. That's about a month worth. So that and the bo bottom here is more blueberry. You probably wonder why I have so many blueberry. I went to a blueberry farm. So blueberry, blueberry, blueberry. The theme is we love blueberry, okay? <laughs> so, and that is this section. And also, and earlier on a previous video, I mentioned to you that this actual unit was designed to, in case there's a fire, it would collapse the water and flood everything out to put the fire out. Does it work? I have no idea, but at least in my mind it works. So I also have a fire alarm here, up here, just in case it doesn't work, so I could run out of here as fast as I can, okay? We have, on the other side, the TV, which I truly love because I feel like I'm at a movie theater, especially with the surround sound system that I have in here. And seriously, I do have some serious sound system in here. And this picture here, I love it. It's just everything, it makes, that's, it, makes it feels like home. You got a little, a little tube thingy, whatever that's called. You know, we just saw it one day, like, it's cool. So I'm just gonna grab it and put them on. So that's done. And here's another one. And here another one. So, it feels like home. That's all I can say about that. Okay, going to the sink here. Remember last time? It had a hole here. Here's the sink. The water, everything's all running. I freaking love this thing because I wash my hand a lot. So it makes it a lot, very, very useful because when I work in a car, my hand get really dirty. This is the best thing. So, oh, I forgot to mention, it has an outside shower. Remember on the previous video? I forgot to show you that. It does have an outside shower. It is upgraded, updated, or you name it, it's in there. So, shower here. I'm like all over the place. And your show dispenser here. So, I gotta turn back here. So we're gonna come back over this side, I forgot. So, the bathroom. Oh, the game changer. The game changer. This is it. What I love about this particular bathroom is that it's all aluminum. There is no wood. I hate wood. Wood is like my kryptonite besides fiberglass. Wood is my kryptonite. I hate it. So everything here is all aluminum. I put them in myself. So 
and we do, it does have a bathroom and that's what I truly love too, the bathroom. So here it is, it's a little portable toilet. But I'm not finished with this toilet. It's gonna be more design coming up. I don't like it that it's just there. I'm gonna make it into a cartridges, but I gotta design something where it's a little more easier for me to, I mean, to suit my need. That is the only thing I'm having a problem with right now, which that's the next project. I have to figure out a, a nice, easy solution to this toilet thing. So, and that's it, good, okay? And we're gonna switch back to this side, sorry. Okay, here is your microwave air fry. Remember, this thing fell off, broke, bent everything. So it's fixed now. And this is the best I could do for woodwork. This is it. You're not gonna get any better than this. To me, this is it. So this is done. We got this from Walmart. Love this thing. The paper towel does not roll down. You need to get this. I found it at Walmart. Another thing that I truly love, I could not find out a figure way how to fix this thing. So I came up with a really nice solution. I saw an express van, the older one, the, I forgot what it's called, but anyway, they have these visor that comes up and down. It's really cool. I'm like, you know what? So my mom came up with this idea. I said, why didn't you just grab one of the visor? I'm like, wait a minute, what visor are you talking about? And then she, it dawned on me what she was talking about. This out of Chevy Express and your Dodge van and some of your Ford uh, conversion van with the rooftop. So check this out. If this was done with wood, I'll never be finished with this truck, number one. Number two, it'll look really ugly. So, and to open this, you just basically pop this up. And look at this, all this space, and you don't have to see all this junk that we have, her clothes and everything, makeup and everything. You don't have to see anything, mask, sorry, makeup. Uh, so this thing would come down, and it was just lock out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. I love it. Good job, mom. But anyway, and next one, back to our cabinet. This is all the space we need for basically our cookware. So right here is your pots and pan and everything. Um, bags, as you can see, everything that's required for for cooking. Down here is her, is my clothes, and also up there too. So her clothes there, and this is her clothes down here. And also over here is your rice cooker and everything, all your spices, everything that needs to be cooked to, to make an, an, a meal is here. So, and more here, this is where you cook your pots and pans and, and your other stuff, your paper towel, more spices, your knife, it's all on here. So, and that's really it for this toolbox. But man, this thing, I love it, love it. And I recommend someone who's doing a DIY built to do what this setup i just recommend you know you don't have to but it's really nice and what else do i have to show you guys that's it for now uh on the build and oh by the way since the generator is running on this side the generator running on this side you do want to put a carbon in that side as close as you can within this proximity so if there is an actual leak that comes through the actual uh the frame of the truck you, it will go off but I tested everything is perfectly worked perfectly fine, um, and that's it of the 90% finish of the box truck. Stay tuned for the next video. What I'm going to plan to do with the toilet, the actual back toilet itself. Um, that's next, and what else I'm going to do? A couple more touch up here and there to make sure everything is perfectly. That's all I can say. Um, and this also turned into a, a, a chair, a couch, whatever you want to call it. And I'll show you that in the next video. But we're, we're actually going to be sleeping on here tonight. Believe it or not, we're not in Florida. We are actually in Delaware. We travel up north and all the way up to New, Ch New Hampshire and Maine. And this truck is so awesome. We parked in a residential area. We parked in nobody know that someone is in this truck it's literally amazing we park in a in a dense dense packed population and nobody knew someone was in this particular van but uh and this being the fact that i could turn the fan on and not turn the generator on makes so much of a difference and i cannot think of any negative part yet on this truck so far i'm loving it but stay tuned for the next video 
for more of the stuff that we we we're going to be doing with this truck and where I'm going to be heading. Um, and again, thank you for the subscriber. With you guys subscribing, helps me so much. It motivates me to making a video. And the Tacoma, there's a lot more project I'm doing with the Tacoma. Um, that will be on our next video too, and places we're going to be going with it. How I'm going to how I'm going to use the van and everything else. But again, thank you, and hopefully you could join in and and and, and see more of our video. Other than that, thank you, and have a wonderful day. We'll see each other in the next video.